Tomorrow, the federal civil rights trial of three former Minneapolis police officers in the death of George Floyd gets underway in St. Paul. While Derek Chauvin pleaded guilty last month in this case, J. Alexander King, Tu Tau, and Thomas Lane have all pleaded not guilty. Esme Murphy reports on what you can expect to see and not see in this trial. Under federal rules, trials are not televised, so you won't be seeing the dramatic testimony and courtroom scenes that captured millions worldwide in Derek Chauvin's state trial. While Derek Chauvin never testified in his state trial, legal experts, including Joe Tamburino, believe these three defendants will testify here. They have to get up on the stand to say they did not aid and abet or help Mr. Chauvin deprive the rights of Mr. Floyd. The three former officers who appear in so many of the videos from the Chauvin trial will be presenting different defenses. Tu Tao, who kept distraught bystanders from intervening at the scene, will likely argue he never touched George Floyd. Defense attorneys for J. Alexander King and Thomas Lane are expected to stress that they were rookies following orders. But they were really only patrol officers for less than a week, and therefore they can surely testify that they don't have the complete experience that say any other officer would have. Do you expect the defense to argue, hey, this is all Derek Chauvin's fault? Yes, you would think that their argument would be that Mr. Chauvin did this on his own. While the jury in Derek Chauvin's state trial was half people of color, that almost certainly won't be the case at this federal trial. That's because jury pools in federal trials are chosen from a greater geographic area that will include outlying and suburban counties that have larger white populations. In St. Paul, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. While the three defendants technically face life in prison if convicted, legal experts say it's more likely they would be sentenced between 20 and 25 years. As we wait for the federal trial to begin tomorrow, the state trial has been pushed back even further. It's now scheduled to start in June. All three former officers have pleaded not guilty to aiding and abetting the charges in that case. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage.